So, I figured I'd talk about this. Because <laughs> it's kind of something that I've been trying to, I guess, sweep under the rug, but it's kind of hard to ignore. <laughs> and that is uh, the Shadow of the Colossus short that I uploaded a long time ago. But it's the bulk of the reason why I'm seeing success on my channel, so I can't really ignore it. So I figured, why not? I'll address it. Not that there's much to address, because it pretty much, it's just a Shadow of the Colossus shit post. But as of recording this, it just recently passed 200 thousand views. Now of course it is a YouTube short so yeah a lot of the most viewed shit on my channel is YouTube shorts. It's been a minute since I've watched this. There's just certain things I want to address but let's just watch it. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. I mean, it's alright, like... It's the biggest piece of dog shit. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! I mean, it's alright, like... It's the biggest piece of dog shit. It might be the stupidest video I've ever made. God, when did I even make this? I know it was like this year. Yeah, February of this year. I made this because like I recently had played Shadow of the Colossus for the first time. Again, if you're new or you don't know, Shadow of the Colossus is my favorite game of all time. But I didn't really play it ever until the first time, which was this year, back in February. And I don't know, but I just felt like making this like weird short because I love all the Colossus in the game, but like I wanted to sort of just illustrate just, you know, some are better than others. <laughs> so I was just like, fuck it, I'll do it, you know, rating the 17. And of course, I know it's like, there's only 16, but I counted like the Dorman Colossus at the end as one as well. Like, yeah, Valus is good, Quadratus, he's the goat because he's a goat. <laughs> Gaius, the goat. He's the cover character for a reason. And a lot of this was also just my personal experience with like each Colossus and how I experienced playing them. Of course, Phaedra. I know like some of the comments are just like, why would you rate Phaedra so high? Phaedra is one of my like favorite designed ones, but I don't know. I like the environment in which you use it. Like you go through the graves. Avion, like I know some of people are also like, why isn't Avion the goat? But it's just mainly cause it's kind of tedious sometimes if you like fall off, but I guess, you know, skill issue. Cause I know. Well, it's possible if you cheese it a little bit to get all of Avion's sigils in like one go. You pretty much have to stab one, maybe two, and then fall off and then reset Barba. Yeah, I got some shit for this as well. Just like, why would you rate Barba? Because because he's just Valus, but with a beard. His arena's cool, but you know, I mean, it's all right. Hydrus, awesome. Yeah, Kuramori, I rated him lower just because like, I mean, his design's cool, but again, his boss fight's fairly easy. It's a bit tedious though, just because like, you have to like shoot him off, stab him, run all the way back up to the top, shoot him, and then yeah. There's some cheese that you could do with it though. Basaran, this was the biggest one that I've gotten the most shit for. Again, I gotta specify, I love all of the Colossus in their own way, but some of these boss fights are annoying as hell. Bossarans was mainly, again, because of my personal experience with it, there's times where I literally had him on top of the geyser and it was clipping through his body, but he was not toppling over. I had to do that like five or 10 times and I almost died just because he kept shooting you. Yeah, I think his thing is cool. Like, you know, he looks like a turtle. I like the grill on his face, but yeah, it's just that geyser thing. And then like if you whiff the shots, which again, I get that that's a skill issue. It's just one of those ones where it's just like, you either get it or you don't. Dirge, <laughs> I think Dirge, has like the fastest one, the fastest fight. Because all you have to do is run, shoot his eyes, hits the wall, stab him, run, shoot hit the wall, stab. You do it like twice and he's dead. I think I did that fight in like four minutes or something. I just love this picture of Dirge. It's like Dirge is easily like one of the scariest ones when you look at him just head on. <laughs> ah, damn it, I missed it. Why can't you rewind on here? The go, but why he's the go, the go. Whoa, whoa. I mean, it's all right, like, whoa. Yeah, and then Solosia. I think this one is absolutely the worst fight in the whole game. When you finally are able to get him to fall off the ledge, you grab onto it and you have like the splittest of tiniest of frames to get stabs in. He shakes, he runs, which I get, he's smaller, so it makes sense that he'd move more. But oh my God, it was actually like one of the most painful boss fights 
ever. I wholeheartedly is just like, yeah, it, it's dog shit. I hate it. Pelagia. Pelagia is a guilty pleasure. I, I don't know. He's one of my favorites just because his design is one of my favorites, even though his boss fights nothing special, really. You get him to jump on the platform. You stab his tummy. Yeah, well, first you climb his back and then you get on his head. You smack the teeth. Then you jump, you get on the platform, you stab his tummy. I love his design. I like the like lightning things on his horns. Teeth are weird. I don't know. It's a quick fight, but I always like Pelagia. And then Phalanx, dude. Can anybody really talk shit about Phalanx's fight? I think Phalanx is the perfect example of why Shadow of the Colossus is my favorite game ever. For most people, if you do a consensus, I think a lot of people either say like either Phalanx or Gaius is their favorites or even Avion. But for me, Phalanx is my favorite Colossus in the whole game. And I think he's the biggest, right? Like if you stand all of them like vertically next to each other, Phalanx is just barely taller than Malice, I think. But obviously you can't really tell because, you know, he's very skinny and he's just, he's lengthwise the biggest. That's why he's the GOAT. And Zenobia, like, I was like, yeah, I mean, it's all right, just because it's not as annoying as Celosia. That's why I didn't put it at dog shit. I mean, design-wise, it's just like, it's just Celosia again. But, I mean, the fact that you use the environment so much and it's pretty much a parkour fight is kind of cool. Other than that, it's just like, eh. He's whatever, Colossus. And then Argus. This is the one I get the most shit for in the comments. It's just like, come on, Argus is one of my favorites. Which I get. Like, in hindsight, I don't think Argus is the biggest piece of dog shit. Now, kind of the reason why I put him there is just because his fight is one of the ones where if you have never played Shadow of the Colossus before... How do you beat this boss? Like, legitimately, you'd have no idea. Like, some of the other ones, maybe, like, you could- It's some of, like, these later half ones where it's just, like, if you've never played before and you're trying, like, how do you beat these? But Argus is one where it's just, like, you have to get him in a very specific spot to step on a very specific platform to launch you to then you climb. And I'm lucky that I've had years of, like, watching Shadow of the Colossus stuff and going into the game for the first time. I was able to sort of speed run in that sense since I knew how to beat them. I mean, Argus it's like, it's cool because he's like a big monkey, but it's also kind of like, it's just Valus and Barba again. Like, I kind of wish he was more like, walked more like a gorilla, where he was kind of like on all fours with his hands. He's whatever. And then Malice, it's just like, yeah, whoa! I think Malice gets shit on a little too hard. I like that he's a human looking instead of like an animal like the other ones have been. I think I almost put Malice at I mean it's alright. When I faced Malice at the end, because I forget like one of the things you need to do is once you're on his hand you need to stab his hand so he moves it. I completely forgot about that part. And then once I remembered it was like oh okay. Because I kept like falling off of that part climbing and it's like oh yeah okay gotcha. I mean Malice is a really cool fight. Like it feels like the climactic end to the game which it is. And then Dorman, yeah, I, I, I was like, throw him in there, why not? I know like some comments are just like, there's only 16, but it's like, watch the whole video, you see why I include it. <laughs> you know, this video's been up for a while and I've just like not acknowledged it at all. <laughs> Cause if we hop on over to the analytics for this video, <laughs> over the course of the nearly like year, like nine months that this has been out, it's gotten 200,000 views and I've gained 300 subscribers because of it. <laughs> nearly half of the subs I have right now have been because of this one short. And honestly, I'm curious, down in the comments below, let me know if you're somebody who found me because of this short and have stuck around because of it. I like to say that I put much more work into other videos that I do. I guess I'm known for this one shot of the Colossus short, which is fine, I guess. I'm just so curious why this gets so many views. I mean, the thumbnail is pretty good. And I guess like Shadow of the Colossus content isn't that common since like, it's just a one game thing. It's an enigma. Every channel has it, but you know, just in case I have other content, like look at this, I have nearly 300 other videos that I believe I put much more work and love into than the one short. So if you have found me because of this Shadow of the Colossus shit post, check out my other videos, stick around, and I hope you'll stick with me forever. I just figured I'd acknowledge it, because again, I posted it, and it's just been radically gaining views every day. And I figured I'd take the chance to sort of, I guess, thank you. Again, I know shorts are easy views, but you know, with the spot we're at right now with the channel and the goals I have, we kind of need to take those shortcuts sometimes. As we are now coming towards the end of the year and we still have some big stuff planned, I figured I'd acknowledge at least the biggest thing that has come from this channel this year. Join me for many other videos of better variety, be they from reactions, reviews, gameplay, and everything of the short to come. Out soon. So thank you all for joining me on this. I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.